Hey guys, it's Anthony here, and today I'm gonna try and do two things. And one, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna show you guys how to put a texture pack onto Minecraft. And two, I'm gonna show you how to make a booster for your minecart system. Now, first, I'm gonna take my Minecraft out of the out of the uh, texture pack that I'm gonna use, which is the uh, Friendin's texture pack. I personally love the Friendin's texture pack because and I love how it's so much how, I, love, I love how it's unique um, it's a lot different than um, others it looks simplistic uh, it just looks wonderful I, I love I love it so what I'm gonna do is yep okay I'm gonna rename this folder Friendin's because that's what it was originally called and I'm gonna put this in, ga in games okay because that's where it originally was, and um, this this works uh, this works um, only for Macs, and I'm using a MacBook right now. So there you go. Um, it's very simple. Um, it's much simpler than um, much simpler than PCs. So you have your Minecraft um, application here on your desktop, and what you want to do is you know get your texture pack out after you download it. It's gonna be. It's gonna come up to be something like this. You want to save this to your desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it to my desktop, and uh, rename it to Minecraft, like I do here, and basically put your application application here, Minecraft application, into the Minecraft folder. And guess what? You're done. Yeah, it's simple. And you can see the Minecraft in here, <clears throat> and. If you guys were wondering what, what what all this means, all this crap here, yeah, that's basically what makes each texture pack unique. It has different um different types of mobs, you know, the environment, the grass, the moon, the sun, etc., etc. And yeah, okay, so I got the friendins pack already on my thing, as you can see. So I'm gonna drag that back to my applications folder. Now it's in my application folder, as you can see here, and I'm gonna. Put, now you can do whatever you want with it. So I'm gonna put my Minecraft. Actually, that was stupid. That was stupid. Put this back in here. Put this back into applications. Okay. Um, I'm gonna drag this out here, and I'm gonna input the final Minecraft into my dock, so I can have easy access to it. All right, guys. And I'm just gonna show you that it works. It's easy. It's simple. That's why I like putting texture packs on a MacBook because it's really simple. There's really no work need to be done. You can already see it's different. The load up is different. Single player, my original world too here. And let's get started. All right. Yeah, as you can see here, much simplistic. Um, uh, it's very different, obviously. Um, and I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I love this texture pack. Um, I actually been using this for a while, but then I switched over to the painterly pack because uh, I don't know. I guess I was a little tired of friendins, but it is a good pack. Um, I'm probably gonna end up using this instead of the painterly pack because I, I kind of miss this. Um, and like I told you before, I'm gonna show you how to make a booster uh, booster for your minecart system. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, three three different types of booster tracks. And yeah, let's go over to my base. Um, I do all my tutorials in the base over there. I don't know. I just kind of feel it's necessary to do all my tutorials over there because that's where I did. That's where I first did my uh, lava incinerator tutorial. So okay, guys, let's go. Yeah, I might see this texture pack might seem a little odd to you at first, but then you get used to it. And I hope you guys like this as well. <laughs> Leave in the comments below if you guys really hate this texture pack. If you do, um, I'll gladly take it out. Um, maybe put another texture pack in, or I can just keep the painter with the texture pack. So what you're gonna need is um, a couple of minecarts. Actually, I'm gonna go back inside real quick and get my minecart that I used. 
Chakchaw. Okay. Um, you can make a couple of them. I only have two with me right now, and that's all I'm gonna need. Um, and you see the sapling here? I planted that so I can make a like a little Christmas tree, because I am Catholic. I do celebrate celebrate Christmas. And yeah, guys, I hope this thing grows to be really big so I can decorate it and stuff. Okay, um, let's start over here. Um, of course, you're gonna need mine uh, mine mine tracks. So basically, the first the first very very simple um, booster is just actually yeah let's start with a very very simple one and it, all you need is four minecart tracks boom boom makes it into a circle and what you do is you put two you spin this like so it's gonna spin in that direction and what you can do is put another one and make it spin in the same direction and then what it will do it will um uh, oh no see I don't really like this method because it glitches up a lot and uh, there you go so now if I just put like a bunch of minecart uh, mine car, uh, mine tracks over here and let's put a let's put cobblestone over here so I don't keep going and you'll see what I mean I'm gonna get I'm gonna need to get the other minecart track to show you guys this Cha. All right. <clears throat> All right. As you can see, that thing is just keep going and going. It. I really don't like this method because it glitches up a lot. Um, it sometimes stops, or just sometimes just randomly goes out of order and then just. It's it's very annoying. Um, the one that I have set up here and over back in my house is the way I pr I prefer, and I will be showing you guys that as well. So write it and you'll see that I go super fast and yeah that's one way to make a booster um, you know it's simple if you don't have a lot of resources I suggest using this method because um, and what is going on here okay um, all right the next method I'm going to show you is the um, the way I've set up, uh, yeah, the the one that I just told you about. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, watch out for this. Um, so I suggest you making this first, and then doing this, and then doing this. Okay. So what basically what it is is you're setting it up so that the minecart will go here up a little bit and then come back down to its original place. And to do that, you're gonna need some height, so I'm gonna put some gravel here. Uh, oh, did I just say gravel? <sighs> Cobblestone here and there. And let's put the minecart tracks here, here, and then pick the top one out because you won't need it. And yeah, let's go ahead and put this cobblestone up there so it comes back. Okay, guys, now you'll see what I mean. Actually, my bad. My bad. This needs to be up front. So take that out, put another thing here, and yeah, that should work. Because, okay, so this is similar to what I have set up there. So what you want to do is you want to put a minecart here, and another minecart here. So let's go, let's see what happens, guys. And this is my preferred way. And as I fail miserably. Okay, what just happened? It should work. Nope, it doesn't work because I'm an idiot. Boo, 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 boo. It needs to be here. <clears throat> so whenever the um, slope is, where your minecart uh, mine track sl uh, slopes, and a downward slope, uh, whenever, you're whenever you're starting off, yeah, that's where you want to put your final, final uh, minecart track for your booster system All right this should work if it doesn't then um, I am a retard I don't know I don't I don't know anything about my uh, mine carts so yeah it should work yep there you go that works foolproof um, I've never had any problems with it this is the suggested method um, it doesn't require many mine carts uh, mine cart tracks 
Um, it might require some cobblestone, but I mean, it's really not that hard to get cobblestone, guys. Seriously. Okay, um, get rid of these. The final method also works foolproof, but I like my way better, just because. Just because. And it's like this. So you make it similar to the one that I had. You can make it a little bit shorter, but whatever you guys want. And then just basically make it so that... Hmm. Weird. Um. Okay, here, here you go. No, no, this is not it. No. Wow, I just... Okay, so... What you're gonna, what you're trying to do is make the make the booster system go here, up here, go around, and then come back down. And in order to do that, I'm gonna need to take this out, put the cobblestone here. Uh, boom, boom. What that will do is make it go up, go around, and then come back down like so. And we're gonna test it out right now. Go back there. Go back. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what happens. Yep, it works just as well. And this is also foolproof, guys. Um, it should work without any doubt, without any troubles. And as you can see, it went right back to its place over here. So yeah, guys, um, that's my suggestions. Um, I really don't. I really don't suggest the um, the easy way, the first one, um, because it just has a lot of problems with it. I prefer this method or the one that I've set up in my base over here. As you can see, I have the one where it goes up high, and then it comes back down. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, subscribing will be really really nice um, I am looking for more people to watch my videos um, I'm trying to keep up uh, I'm trying I'm making a lot more videos for you guys so yeah uh, leave any feedback leave any criticism you know any comments that you guys want to give me and since beta's been uh, since beta is going to be coming out soon I will be posting up many 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 videos of beta